Hey everyone, I've been asked how I do the lighting for say the PKE or the ghost trap. Now this isn't the method that was used for the actual show, but this is a new method that I've acquired since the show that is stupidly simple. Like it is crazy, crazy simple. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go and get a friend of mine's board. Um, a friend of mine makes these little tiny boards here and they're called Enlighten. I will put some links down below on what or where you need to go to get these and some of the LED strips and everything that he has. Um, the reason why I recommend doing it this way versus building your own, which is what I generally do, is that it's plug and play. It literally, you grab a strip, you plug it in and you program it. You plug another strip in, you, you program it. You can also add Grove connectors, which are sensors that you can use, speakers, audio, um, you basically you name it. You can also use some boards from Adafruit and um, basically they're just Bluetooth compatible. The big thing is, is that you have to program them and a little bit and then hook it up and figure out where you got to pin out and everything. For some people that isn't what you want to get into. So this will be sort of like the solder free version, right? Now I've got a commercial license. You can use this for free for a lot of different smaller projects. Um, you can go in and get a, a paid version. It's quite inexpensive. So again, the links will be down below. You really want to take a look at the Baconics thing. Now, what I've got here is just a standard USB battery pack and I've got an on off switch. Again, I'll put the links to all this stuff down there below. Now this is the uh, board I was telling you about, the Enlighten board. Um, super handy. You've basically got three connectors coming in. This one will be the main light board and this is the power. So you have this power connector and everything. And this here is the um, LED board that I designed up for uh, ghost traps. Now let's just take a look and I've got a standard program on here. And you can see how that goes like that. Now what I'm going to do while this is running is I'm going to come in here on the computer we're going to look and there's the Enlighten board. So we're going to click on that and that's as easy as it is to click and hook up to. It's all Bluetooth. This is where it gets super cool is that you can use your phone with the Baconics app to switch between programs and start doing things. So let's say you have a, um, a pack on your back or you have a trap somewhere. You can literally remote control it via your phone. Super cool. So back here, what we've got is I've got three different programs that are just kind of standard programs. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on one just so you can see that, oh, this is actually doing something a little different, right? Then we'll click on the blue roll. And again, you get something entirely different as far as what, what's going on. You can do color bounces, which is what it kind of defaulted to at the start. And here's one of the cool, cool things here is I'm going to take this, this, um, board off. Now these are the stock ones that you can buy from Enlighten. These little strips. And we'll hook one in. Now you notice that I'm hot swapping it. Probably shouldn't do that, but I'm going to anyways. Now we'll go, wait a minute, what if I want to have more LEDs coming out the other end of this? Oh, well then what I do is I just jack in another piece. All right. Or let's say I need to put something in between these two. Come in here. <clears throat> we'll grab a second second light strip. So we've got two light strips and I believe these can handle like a, a stupid amount of LEDs, like a crazy, crazy amount of LEDs. And then we can add the power bar. And so now we're running all these extra LEDs. We're going to go into the programming of this shortly, um, but I'm not going to kill myself trying to teach that. We're just going to go into the basics. So let's just disconnect this, disconnect this guy. And we're going to come back here and hook this in. So now we're back at the little power bar that I have. Okay, so where do you go to get this stuff? So you want to go to nlighten.tech and you'll come here. There's a brief overview of what's going on, but in the end, you wanna to go to the Enlighten store, which will take you to here. And in here, you have the LED strips, um, some power injectors. You'll definitely need one of these guys. The Enlighten Tech controller, extension cables and a bunch of LEDs that you can grab. Now you can wire in your own LEDs into this, but in the end, the reason why you want this and why you want to spend the extra money on this um, is that it's plug and play. You literally start plugging things in. These little connectors here, you're going to start hooking up all sorts of stuff that you can buy online and start working with all of this stuff. 
so yeah, it's a little more of a premium product, but in the end, you were literally buying your way out of so many problems. Like seriously, consider using this. You, you hook into a USB battery pack, you end up just plugging a bunch of stuff in and going. Um, then at that point, you just have to actually start in the programming. The programming itself, you wanna go to Baconics.com and there will be a link down below. I'm gonna put in an affiliate link for you, go, for you to go and check out. Um, that way, if you end up buying anything, and just so you know you don't, if you need to get in there and just start playing, you, there is a free version, totally no problem, easy way to get in and start working with this stuff. So don't worry about actually having to buy, but should you ever buy, you'll be supporting this channel. One last thing here is Enlighten. They have an Enlighten tech right on Instagram. Definitely wanna follow it because that is where you're gonna start seeing some of the tutorials and everything uh, based off of their products. There's your little spiel, but in the end, this is a product that I use and the biggest thing is, is that it's plug and play. I don't have to do any soldering. I don't have to really think about which wires go to which pin. And to be completely honest, the board is freaking tiny. Like it's about the size of the tip of my thumb. Seriously, I can stuff that into pretty much any prop I ever want. So I'm gonna go into my projects. You can see a whole bunch of stuff that I've already done here, but I'm just gonna add one. So I'm gonna click on there. So 15 LEDs plus the little one at the end. So what we're gonna do is come into components, uh, to, to adjustable LEDs. We can say strips. But let's just say we've got a strip like this or straight 10 at, or you, you can basically choose whatever you want. We'll drag one of these guys in here, right? So you can see that I can add more or less as I need to, right? And I'm gonna zoom in and out a little bit here. So what I can do here is I can double click on it and it tells me total LEDs is 16, right? So we can start going down 14, 13. So we want 15, 16, right? Good. So we've got the 16 LEDs here and I am going to switch over to this selector and we're gonna zoom in. And part of the reason why is I wanna click on that guy there and you have outputs. So you're gonna have different outputs. This output here is gonna drive all the LEDs along the edge. But what I want is, is for that one to be a separate entity altogether. And then what I'm gonna do is come here. We're gonna add a new group blue Let's say it there, group two. So now we've got the two groups. So timeline, uh, eases and bounces, there we go. So we want to do a right to left ease in, right? So what we have here, I'm gonna turn on the enlighten again, and I'm gonna say connect to that one, cool. And what's really kind of interesting about this is that you can see now, as I scroll back and forth on the LEDs, it's, giving me a live preview of what's happening, right? And it's also lighting up that last one and it's kind of missing the first one. Oh, I see what's happening. So what it's thinking is, is this is the number one LED and that one is not. So this is where I went into components and I chose that one here and I didn't want that actually to happen. So I want to take this guy and I want to put him on group two. Oops, just that one. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all the remainder, those 15, and we're gonna make those group one. Come back, okay. So has this fixed it? Look at that, that last LED is no longer going in and out. So now we can have the bar come up. Let's say I wanna change the color, I just double click to do something where it's blue. So let's come into blue, and I'll still do that ease in, all right, and stop. I'm gonna take this guy and I'm gonna extend him out to 10 seconds. And then I'm gonna take this arrow here and you'll notice that I can have it so that it goes easy in. And as I scroll past, it comes back down. So that's perfect. Now the traps are in amber light. So let's just turn this back down and we'll go into an amber lake. So now we have this guy going and back down, right? And excuse me a second while I try to figure this out. kind of being silly. So we're gonna make it so it comes in and out fairly quick. It comes. So if we have this, we can send it to the, 
to the board and you can see it do the ease in, ease out, right? And that's kind of slow, but it'll do for now, right? At least for the demo purposes. But now we want this LED right here to blink red, right? Cool, so let's come into here. We're gonna go to the library. Let's come back, go back one. Just the color, we want it to be red. So let's just drop in a red guy. Let's say I want the blink to be about one second long, which is about like that, there. Then I hit Control C, Control V, grab another one, give it like one second delay, add another one, another second delay. So you can start building out the effect like this, right? Now, let's see if this happens. Do, do, do. So we've got that. Let's send that to the board. That really is all there is to it is you can come in here and you can start grabbing these things and plugging them in and plugging them out and figure out what works, what works, what doesn't. What I'm going to do here in the future is I will show you guys how I designed the uh, electronics board. It's really simple. Anybody can really do it. Um, and maybe I can grab a few that I can tell you guys. I'm not too sure because this is kind of a custom build, but the, you know, 15 LEDs in a row for a little scroll bar is not unusual so i'm pretty sure we can use it for different props that all being said is there you go now you know it is really simple you get the enlightened board and you plug it in and you go on to Beconics and you start programming things now one thing i want people to understand too is that you can start putting servos and other led sets into this if you're looking at the pke i did earlier for sony that one there had some special LEDs. Um, they are a little different than the format that I'm using here. And again, I can program that in using this system. That's all I got for you. Hopefully that's helped you out. And I really want you to go and check out the links below. One for Enlighten, one for Beconics. Um, the LEDs, I'm going to see if I can find those for you. And we'll carry on with this here in the future.